guys. Anyways, let me stop being stupid. Um, today we're gonna cook a Philly cheesesteak. I was gonna put onions in there, but when I was gonna get my onions, it was bad. So, and then I caught everybody in the world and nobody has onions. People who cook doesn't have onions. Who doesn't have onions in their damn house? That don't make no damn sense. Anyways, to start, we're going to start by taking some oil and putting it in a saucepan. You only need one tablespoon of oil. And then you're going to add one tablespoon of flour to that. And then you're going to misc and whisk. So, come with me. And then you're just gonna whisk it together. Now to your pot, you're just gonna add one cup of milk. So you pour in your milk, like so. Make sure it's nice and warm. And then you're just gonna add that to your mixture. Pour it in like so. Um, there goes the milk. And then you're gonna mix. Mix that up. And you're gonna let it cook for five minutes and add in your shredded cheese. I don't have no shredded cheese, so I'm just gonna use like whole cheese because I couldn't find it at Walmart because you know, Walmart ain't got nothing. So, you're gonna just add your pumpalone cheese into your mix, which should be one cup. I forget to tell you to add some cayenne pepper to your mixture. It's supposed to get nice and thick and to, to um, five minutes. If that makes sense, just add your cayenne pepper in there. A little shake, shake, shake. I like my things spicy. So I'm a spicy type of girl. And then you're just gonna mix it. Mmm. Look how nice and pretty that is. So it's kind of like a cheese that's, I don't know, spicy. See, and then it should look like this. See that? It's getting thick. So, all right. Next thing's next. I'm gonna cut your vegetables. So guys, here's my vegetable. Kind of tasty. So you're gonna need a knife, obviously, and a cutting board. But make sure if you are a child, don't use the knife by yourself. I mean like, don't do it without an adult's help because you know some people don't know how to use knives and I mean some people just are crazy so you're gonna just <laughs> cut your vegetable I hate seeds so my camera guy is a bad camera guy first of all he's over here freaking texting on his phone he's supposed to be recording shaking the damn camera i just took that out take my seeds out and then i'm gonna just chop them not chop the seeds but chop the green pepper you're just gonna slice like so and just cut like so and now he's coughing all over the food oh no, my not all over the food just kidding and you're just gonna Slice and keep slicing until you get how much as you want. So, and then you're gonna put this in the pot, warm it up until it's cooked, which should take about um, three to four minutes. And then you should be on your merry way to almost getting your meal all cooked up. So, you're gonna go to your pan, right? You're gonna take your greens and then you're just gonna. Put it in when your pan is hot and sizzling. Where'd you get greens from? So, these are greens because they're peppers. So, make sure your pan is nice and hot. And then you're going to leave it 
in the pan for two to three minutes until it's nice and sizzling and cooked and tender. Thank you. So now you got your beautiful steak. You like how I spin that, didn't she? Didn't she let me spin it again? Yeah. So you're gonna take your knife, right? And then you're gonna cut. Pretend this is a man that you don't like. You're gonna just stab him. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. But you're gonna cut it into tiny, tiny pieces. Make sure you get a sharp knife. I just have these steak knives and it's supposed to cut steak and this is steak, but it's not cutting. So, you're gonna just cut it into tiny strips, like so. And you're gonna cut this um, to do your whole entire steak, like this. And just continue to cut your steak pieces. Thank you. Be right back. You're gonna take your kosher salt, and then you're gonna just sprinkle some on your cut meat. As you can see, you have the cut meat right here, and then the steak right here that's not cut. Just season it, and then you're gonna put some pepper, like so, and then you're just gonna take it over here to your pan. Stop it on. When it makes that sizzle effect, delicious. This should make about one. Steak, and then you're just gonna cook it into your liking. Hey guys, so my food is done. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your steak. <laughs> Yummy. Put as much as you want on there. It's supposed to be actually skinnier, but I like my chunks bigger because I get a more juicy bite. So you put your steak in there. And then you're gonna just put your peppers like so right and then next thing you're gonna do is add your sauce yeah and i bet you this is gonna be so delicious so here's what your philly cheesesteak should look like mm, tasty Literally. So let's take a bite and see what it tastes like. I am pretty good. It was just missing some onion. So I'm gonna just continue to eat. You can watch me if you want, but 